I was uh, recently asked the question, why does the moon look orange or yellowy orange when it's close down to the horizon? And I'm going to explain this in the best that I can, but let's start with a couple of pictures. So here is a picture. This, I took this morning. Uh, now, the first thing you'll notice in this picture is that the moon is really small. Uh, it looks big because our eyes are really good at that. And you can't really see it, but it's right over here uh, in, let's see, can I zoom in? There it is. And you'll notice that it's it's in the morning. So you one, you can see it during the morning. And you can. And two, it, it looks very yellowish. Now you gotta be careful with cameras because cameras can take pictures and they don't always exactly display what we think we see. So so yeah, it is yellow. I'm gonna show you a couple other pictures. This is the moon during the day. Yes, you can indeed see the moon during the day. Now, this is not close to the horizon, and I, what I want to point out is the blue sky. That is actually important as to why the moon looks yellow. And then finally, uh, if you looked at the sun, which you should never look at the sun, but if you did, uh, and the sun's close to the horizon, it also looks more reddish or orangish than it does. And I took this picture too. Uh, this is in, in the swamps in Louisiana. We like that picture. Okay, so let's talk about uh, why this works. So here I have a moon and I need the sun. So the sun, this is the sun. The sun radiates light in all directions. But the important thing to understand about that light is that there is a spectrum of colors. Uh, we don't just see one color. Well, we see one color, but there's not just one kind of light coming from that. And in fact, there is the rainbow of colors, the visible spectrum. And so that goes uh, like this, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. Now, it actually turns out that because of the way the human eye works, we can focus just on red, green, and blue. And I have uh, red, green, and purple markers. I'm, that's what I'm going to use. So imagine that we have light coming out of here, and there's it's an electromagnetic wave, so I'm going to draw as a wave. There's my green. Then I have red. And then I have, I should put this in order, red, green. I'll put blue down here. Like that. Now, if we see that with the human eye, here's, here's an eye then we, our brain sees white. So if you combine all three of those colors together, our brain interprets that as white. Now, you may think, oh, no, wait, if you mix all the colors together, you get brown. That's paint. And I have another picture I'm going to show you to prove to you, it's not the best picture, but I'm going to prove to you that the combination of these three colors makes white. So let's jump over here and look at one more picture. I took this picture. This is a picture of an iPhone under a microscope. And if you look, you can see three dots. There's a green, I mean, a, a blue, a green, and a red dot. Do you see those right there? Yeah. And those are the pixels in the phone. By changing the intensity of red, green, and blue, you can produce any color. And in fact, here all three of those colors are turned on really bright and you see white. Here they're very dark and you see black. Uh, you can produce any color by changing the values of the red, green, and blue. RGB, that's where RGB comes from. Okay, so yes, com combining all colors of light produces white. No color at all produces black. So what does this have to do with the moon? There's a really important thing, and that's the air. It turns out that if I put air in here, so I have this, the light come from the sun, and I have, these are air molecules, nitrogen and oxygen. It doesn't really matter. It turns out that these air molecules scatter blue light. So when this light comes in and it passes through the air, some of this blue radiates in other directions. And then some of it hits other light over here and scatters back down to our eyes. So when you look at the sky, you're seeing light from the sun. 
It's the blue light that gets scattered from the sky, from the air, and that's why the sky looks blue. Okay. Now, it doesn't do that so much for the green and the red. They kind of just pass through the, the air. So if you're not looking through much air, you still get quite a bit of blue coming through there, and it looks white. Okay, now let's look at the sun at sunset. I'm going to draw another picture. So here's the Earth. And then here's, here's you, your tiny little person. And the Earth has this thing called an atmosphere. I'm going to draw it not to scale. Now let's put the sun over here, not to scale by any means, and such that uh, it will have light coming this way to you. And you'll notice here that the sunlight has to pass through a lot more air than if the sun was up here with the light coming down that way and it passed through that much light, so air. So here it passes through a little bit of air and so there'll be a little bit of scattering. Here it passes through a lot of air, a lot more air, and to get more scattering. So the result is that uh, the red passes through, the, blue, the green passes through, and some of the blue, I'll put it like this, and then dotted line passes through, and then the rest gets scattered in other directions to make people over here see the sky is blue. But the result is that if I decrease the amount of blue light coming from the sun, it looks reddish. I should have written that in red. And that's why the sun looks red. Now, that's the same reason that the moon looks orangish. So let's draw the earth, moon, the sun. So here is uh, the earth. Here's the sun, not to scale. And this is a full moon uh, over here, like that. So this is the moon, Earth. And they're not completely in line. And so this side of the Earth the, is dark, right? Because it's a shadow. And so you see a full moon, you see that side. So light comes from the sun. And then it reflects off the moon in all directions. And But some of those directions come to the Earth, which has an atmosphere. And if the the more you if you're standing right here the if you're standing right here the sun the moon would look like it's at the horizon and it'd pass through more atmosphere and again filter out more of the blue if you're standing right here then it would not it, the sun would be I mean the moon would be directly overhead and it would not filter out as much blue because it's not going through much air and that's why the moon looks orange because you're looking through more air when it's closer to the horizon. There's a great demo, and I'll have to see if I can do this. Uh, if you take a tank of water, and then you shine red, green, and blue light through there. So white light. So here I have blue. Here I have green. And here I have red. Now you add into the water coffee creamer and it makes the water kind of milky white. If you look at it from the side that that you get the same kind of scattering and the blue light scatters and so it'll look bluer from the side. If you look at it from over here it looks more red and it repeats the same idea of the sun light passing through the atmosphere. So I'll see if I can reproduce that experiment. It's kind of cool. But that's why the, the sun looks orange near the horizon and the moon looks orange near the horizon.